This footage serves to illustrate the Kashida or internal elongation behavior as we designed it inside our fully fledged NAS synthesis. Uh, it, it will be obvious that uh, the structures are very similar to what we will encounter in Nastalik. I'm taking the lower window to the shortest possible form. And from there I will in high speed move to the longest possible form with one Kashida active. I will now do this with two Kashidas active from the shortest form to the longest form. This will become a slightly longer operation. There are so many forms that it would take a lot of time to film them all. Now I'm going to take it to three possible forms. 278 variations of the word fe bi tan bi hi him. Here we go, shortest form, and now it grows to the longest possible form. And this is a rather long process. You can see the word grow in length with calligraphically acceptable kashidas all the time. Now I'm going to complicate this by in allowing the use of three measures of length for the kashida. This does take some computing because the potential number of forms for the word Fetan Bihihim now grows to almost 4,000. In fact, we have uh, 3,000 forms with, based on Kashida. And here we go the shortest form and then to the longest form in a fast move which will take some time. You see how the ACE uh, Arabic calligraphic engine attempts to insert first one, then two, and then three kashidas in any position. Then it <coughs> deals with the fact that some positions are illegal, they will be rejected, so it ends up with kashidas only in those positions where they are um, as expected to be re realistic. In the in the meantime, there is uh, there are three measures of Kushida, and in this word, I've set the total of allowed Kushidas as three maximum, which accounts for a long word, but also many possibilities to create that long word, because in addition to alternation to the position of the Kashida, there is also the possibility to change the shape of the letter Ha and to change the shape of the letter Mim in final position. And as you can see, there are two sh letters Ha in middle position, each of which can take one of three possible forms, which contributes to the large number of shapes that is now uh, passing on your screen. Um, there are so many that we have o only moved halfway now, but I'll keep it going and then I'll turn back to a rather smaller number of, na of, of possible shapes so that you can see them in slow motion. Needless to say that no font technology to date has been able to deal with Arabic script in this manner. It creates almost animation film-like effects, uh, something that opens totally new perspectives for dealing with Arabic script on screens. This gives wings to your words. And we are now in the third, the fourth quarter of the total presentation. It still has some time to go. Just imagine the enormous amount of design work that went into this to c and the analysis to get the rules right. Because many of these shapes were actually never seen before. They are all generated on the fly 
on the basis of a rule and primitives system. The primitives are the shapes, the rules are the way how to combine them into actual forms. I'm now resetting the method to only one Kushida allowed and to make an, the Kushida stand out I will only allow it to use the longest Kushida. We move to the first shape and now we go one by one through the possible images. There's no Kushida in place. You can see many ch now the first Kushidas are beginning to pop up in many different positions which are governed by the fact that the various alternative letters force the Kushida in different forms or in di into different positions. The total of shapes on show right now is 84. And now moving back in fast speed and back to the original form and in order to effectuate such a form in your text you click on the one you like and it will change the copy in the text and this concludes this demonstration